What up, everybody? What up, everybody? Uh, pardon my mood today. I'm gonna start the. I'm gonna start this video video off with saying that uh, if you know me, if you personally, for those who personally know me or have knew, known me, y'all know that I'm uh, I'm usually energetic. I'm usually laughing. My bars are always up. Uh, I preach positivity to as many people as I can to spread on this energy. But today, I I just don't have the energy to be positive, y'all. I don't have the energy to be positive. I'm seeing way too many of my people die on camera. I'm seeing way too many of my people die. Recently, we had we had a young man, young African American male, jogging, and he gets shot. You feel me? He gets his seat pretty much. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying not to get super duper emotional. But we we have too many of our people dying. And if you claim that you are about your people and that you love your people, especially if you are heavily melanated, um, if you claim to be about that life and to be about your people and to love, then do something. Do something. I'm not saying start a rebellion, kill cops, all of this stuff. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying that if you see your fellow brethren um, getting knocked, getting pulled down by a group of cops, and then you see a cop put his knee on his neck and put all of the leverage of his weight on this guy's neck through his knee, and you just pull out a video and you don't do anything about it. I, I'm gonna have to. That's gonna have to change for the future, y'all. Everything like time. This is 2020. Racism has always been here. It hasn't gotten worse. Nah, definitely hasn't gotten worse. Now it's just televised. It's just, we're in a digital age. We have cameras every single place. With that being said, if you see police brutality, would you stop? Would you, would you try to stop it? Or would you just sit, by, sit back and look just so you can get views on, on whatever? What would you do? Me personally, I vow. I vow to step up and do something about it you dig i vowed to step up and do something about it i will no longer if i'm caught up and i see some things happening and i see police brutality happening right in front of me i'm not pulling out a camera i'm stepping up and i'm talking if i gotta get locked up fuck it this is for my people and this is how i believe a lot of people should think but i know a lot of people are not leaders i know a lot of people are not leaders but i hope that one day one day a lot of people could just stop talking. They can just stop talking and actually be about that life. We got all these motherfuckers that say that they gang bangers. They about that life. They'll kill a nigga. They'll kill they'll they they'll kill. They'll kill me before they even think about even saying anything to a policeman because they're gonna run. Now I'm not saying do anything bad to police officers or any branch of anything, but if you see a fellow especially a fellow melanated African-American, they're getting, getting brutalized. I'm going to need y'all to step up and do something. I'm not trying to hear nothing. And if you do not, and you sit there, and you just pull out a camera and you, and you scream world, world star or some bullshit. Yo, yo, you should. I, like I said before earlier, I'm not trying to get too emotional during this because I'm just, my message to you all is, just step up and do something about this. Step up and do something about this. I'm not saying this is apparently this last case that just happened where um, this gentleman just died in front of us, in front of the world. Um, he, he's left. He's gone. But we can still fight for people like him. That's going to happen. That, that this situation is probably going to happen again in the future. And like I said, with that being said, man, I'm not trying to ramble. I got to get back to the J, but this shit bothers me, y'all. This shit bothers me. And if it doesn't bother you, I'm not going to talk down. I know people are all in their lives and all of that stuff, but hey, you got to remember it's not just you on this earth. And if you are about yourself and that's it, then cool. Just be about yourself. I'm not talking to you. But if you are about your people for real, like you claim you do, whether you are a gang banger, whether you are a uh, a police officer that's African American, I need you to step up and say something and make sure this shit don't happen again. Because people are going to lose it. 
people are gonna lose it. And then this, people like myself who are very strong-minded and, and is about that positive life, you dig? Preach positivity every single day that he can with as much breath as he can. It's gonna tear people like myself down and it's gonna bring us to a, a dark place. We're all not trying to go to a dark place. And the thing that's super duper sad about this as well is there are a lot of African-American children right now that are being born or that are uh, that are that 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 are coming into this world right now as we speak, especially through this Corona situation, 2020. Everybody's stuck in a house, so it's a lot of love making. What if that was your son? What if that was your daughter? What if that will be your son? What if that will be your daughter? Think about it. Think about it. But uh, love and peace to you all. I hope that um, I hope that I don't see any shit like this happening. Even though, like I said before, we are in this digital age where everything is, where cameras and all of this shit is on. I just need people to step up, and I and and people like me that are this little on the scale, people don't pay attention to. Fuck it, I don't care. I'm not here for that. But if you actually have a voice, if you have a voice step up and talk about it and say something start something use that money that you got to make sure this shit don't happen again not on your watch not on my watch but anyways love and peace um be safe out there y'all and like i said if you if if you out there and something is happening to somebody that you love a fellow not even love something's happened to another human being out there getting discriminated against or is getting brutalized in, in your face. Hopefully you do something about it. That's all. Love and peace, y'all.